At times in life we look for something spectacular that we can be able to do or maybe embark on so that maybe at the end of the day we realize something spectacular in return. Maybe in terms of success, in terms of at the end of the day legacy and so on and so forth. We forget that whatever it is we are looking for is contributed to by the activities of today and of tomorrow as in whatever it is that you're looking for in life comes a day at a time big bang is a theory actually it's called a big bang theory never been proven and so on but processes can be proven processes are what requires a what makes success to be an achievable thing for just about anyone because they have a starting point they have a continuity point and then they have a destination at the end of the day we start a new series where i want us to start discussing what can we do on a daily basis that brings about the success the achievement the legacy that we were looking for in the first place it's going to be interesting stay tuned Welcome to the Life Signatures podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to talk about different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. There is one uncanny reason as to why a day is normally overlooked and people who have ideas to do things do not do things they do not ship their ideas they do not lean into their ideas why because there is one thing that they are afraid of what will people think and in this life there are those ones who have cut their teeth on pulling down others basically criticizing them And so you find every single day that can be used to lead to someone's success eventually you find that that day is wasted because we are afraid of the critic we are afraid of what people will say what people will think about us we are afraid of looking like we are fools we are afraid of you know being ashamed of being seen to try and do something for ourselves we are uh, we are ashamed of all these things you know i'll never forget some years back i think in 2017 there was an artist in kenya who released a beautiful single a very cute single for my say so myself and i would not have noticed this if it had not been for the sake of a critic who boldly started proclaiming how awful how pathetic the song was And I was intrigued by this but then I was very grateful because this critic left us a link. In other words, they criticized the song, maybe by the way that was just a, a gimmick. <laughs> I normally told that sometimes entertainers and people and artists, you know, musicians and so on, they have the quote and quote beef so that, you know, there is this going to be the advertising, the you know, uh, what do they call it? publicity you know that they can have publicity they say that either positive or negative whatever it doesn't matter as long as it's publicity anyway that critic left a, a link to that song and i went to that link and i listened to the song you should have seen how my heart was warmed by the powerful message the message in the song i wondered aloud why this critic and the litany of their followers were up in arms 
against an artist and were bashing her song. To be honest with you, I was absolutely infuriated. And you, you know what? There are very many people who will not do a thing because they are afraid that they will be victims just like this artist was. And for the record, no critic, let me tell you this, no critic ever built a legacy in their craft. None. 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 Zero. Zuch. Whether they are English, they are French, they are Spanish, they are African, they are American, no critic has ever built a legacy doing their craft. People are never fondly remembered of how bitter they criticized. But people are always remembered by how a fragrance, a beautiful fragrance they were to others. It is Angelo, Maya Angelo, who said people will not, you know, don't care what you think or what you say, but will always remember what you made them feel, something of that nature. But then, I think it was Jim Rohn who said that no statue was ever erected for a critic. And it is true. The unfortunate power of the critic is that it works. And so you find that your day is held at ransom by what you think the critic will say. And there are two types of critics. There are those who are inside of you and then there are those who are in the world. Either of them are very powerful to hold any idea hostage, to hold any attempt to success, attempt to a legacy, attempt to productivity hostage. The world is so full of them and it pains. Now one thing about a critic is that they have no experience in building anything close to what they are criticizing. That's the most, the saddest thing ever. It pains. The painful thing though is that a critic has seen many a legacy tampered with by their own mouth just by their mouthing, you know, just by their condemnation, just by their words. Many an idea has been aborted or not even brought, not even thought about, not even considered for a minute. It just flashes in people's minds and then the critic reigns supreme, either the internal critic or the external critic. And I tell you, you can easily get bogged down by the opinions, or not even the opinions themselves, what you think the opinions are going to be. In other words, the critic has not even opened their mouth, but they have already held you hostage. And therefore, your day goes to waste. Your success is postponed, prorogued, whatever it is, delayed. It is procrastinated. But for the most part, for the most part, you are daily building of success. Listen, or legacy, or productivity is an indictment to the critic that they have nothing, absolutely nothing to show for the life that God gave them. In other words, they are depending on you to have an opinion. They are depending on someone else's creation or creativity to speak up. If that artist I was talking about did not do that single, what would have happened? The critic would have been silent. And the same thing happens all over the world. It is an indictment. Every time you do something, every time you channel out your podcast, you know, an episode here or an article there or a book there, It is an indictment to the critic daily that they have nothing to show of the life that God gave them. And they would rather pull you down to their level and to trash your effort. Listen, what you need on a daily basis, this is the simplest thing I can ever give you and we can even call this mini-series a close just with this statement. That effort is the point. That's it. Effort is the point. On a daily basis, effort is the point. How does someone get to 500 episodes of a podcast? 
by effort by day how does someone get to a million dollars valuation by effort by day how does someone become the most outstanding public speaker this world has ever seen by effort by day how does someone become a master virtuoso a guitarist and musician by effort by day that's it that's it that's how you get to where you want to go by effort by day listen don't listen to those guys who are peddling miracles if that was the way that god wanted us to do he would have instructed us in genesis 128 seek ye miracles pray for miracles fast for miracles he wouldn't have said be fruitful multiply fill the earth subdue it and have dominion on it my point is simply this that day by day is key to the productivity the success that you and I are looking for no legacy no success no productivity is ever built in a day no legacy is built by perfect actions stop looking for perfection perfection never gets there i mean you will never become perfect in fact even the word of god itself says that we are moving from one glory to another not from one perfection to another but from one glory to another another was what you thought was you know when the steam engine was invented it was the thing the whole wide world marveled at the thing but right now look at the human being trying to make it in life using the power of the steam engine that's a complete neanderthal and yet the steam engine was the thing then it was the perfect thing then my point is we can always get better but we get better by effort by day mark those words by effort by day and we are going to start discussing some of these things that we need to do in order for us to achieve the success that we are looking for to attain the financial status we are looking for to attain the cozy vibrant healthy harmonious relationships that we are looking for to attain the acquisition of businesses we are looking for it is by effort by day tomorrow we carry on from this but until then remember it is by effort and by day bye bye A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.